Hi everyone, this is Amy. And that is Ashlyn. <laughs> I know it's been a while since I've had a video for you, and I've been doing a lot of things. Most of what I've been doing, trying to navigate the whole self-employed, uh, government grants, government loans, and deal with unemployment. Wow, Ashlyn. CARES Act does say that self-employed can collect unemployment, but it leaves it up to each state to figure out how. As someone that's self-employed slash 1099 contractor slash freelancer, we kind of fall in between someone that's employed by a company and gets a paycheck every week and someone that owns their own business as a corporation. I fall, like many other people in my position, somewhere in between those two things, and it's not as easy as you might imagine. Now it's been four weeks and I've had no income, even though the state has mandated that we stay home and that businesses stay closed. If you like my videos, please like them, subscribe, hit the bell icon to receive notifications. That will actually help me get monetized through YouTube. I'd rather be working. Contact me and you can book some off-ice lessons. A lot of people have been complaining that their backs, specifically their lower backs, this area, has been bothering them. And this area here is where the psoas muscle goes. So your psoas muscle attaches your upper body to your lower body. And think of it like a belt that wraps around and connects. The area is also often called hip flexors, lower back. If you have pain in here, pain and tightness, Chances are that is your psoas muscle. A few years ago when I shattered my right ankle, I couldn't walk for three months, never mind skate. That's when I began to experience this problem here. And I'm experiencing it now because I'm used to moving all day, every day, and now I'm not doing that. I'm spending a lot of time sitting. And editing videos takes me an hour up to three hours to edit them, and that's really hard on my back. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you about today is how to relieve some of that pain. So the first thing I want you to look at is your posture. Now I do this with all my skaters. Talk about core and posture. Standing is a lot like skating. So the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is to rock forward and backward. Find your center where it feels good. Keep your feet under your hips. If you have a tendency to lean forward, that's gonna put more pressure on your back. It's best to keep your back nice and straight. Good posture. So good posture is important in skating, but it's also important in life. So if I've talked to you about your posture before when you've been on the ice, now is the time to fix it off the ice. And you can bring that to the ice later, just like everything else we do in off ice training. Now we're gonna talk about sitting. So I'm gonna move Ashlyn's chair and she's not gonna be happy about this because this is where she likes to sit. Now we have Brexy joining us. So when you're sitting, it's important to keep a neutral spine. So just like when you were standing, rock backward and forward and find that neutral spine. You want to have your feet flat on the floor. You want your feet and your knees and your hips all at a 90 degree angle. Shoulders straight. Now when a lot of people sit, they do this. What does this do? This tightens up everything here. You wanna make sure that you keep that back nice and straight. And if you've been sitting for an extended period of time, reach up to the sky and flex your back. And now when you're sitting with a computer or something in front of you that you're working on, you wanna make sure that you elevate it if possible because you want your arms also to be at a 90 degree angle. So in this case, I probably have to raise myself up a little bit so that my arms can be at the proper angle and maybe get a little closer so that my arms are here at a 90 degree angle. And again, keep your back nice and straight. When you feel things get tense, stretch. And about every 30 minutes, you want to get up arms up over your head, stretch, and then arms up over your head and flip your palms out, 
It's also good if you want to bend down and stretch your back. But you just don't want to be sitting in a static position for a very long time. And unfortunately, a lot of us are doing that right now. We get involved with something, we're, we're sitting, we can't really go anywhere or do anything. So we're sitting, we're watching Netflix, or we're working on school, or we're working from home. And that makes things a little hard. So next, I'm gonna to talk to you about some exercises you can do to help everything.